Hi friends, welcome back to Table Full of Joy. If you're new, I'm so glad you found me. If you've been following for a while, welcome back. So we are making a little treat for my husband for his lunch for next week, but we're trying a twist on a classic. So let's get in the kitchen. All right, friends. So we are making some Rice Krispie treats today. So we have our marshmallows, we have our butter, we have our Rice Krispies. We, got, we just got some at the bulk because I didn't want a whole box. We don't eat them. I'm just gonna use them for making the Rice Krispie treat. So I just went ahead and give it the bulk, the bulk ones. So we're doing a twist on it. My husband loves peanut butter and he loves dark chocolate. So I came up with an idea. Let's see if it's gonna work. So we're gonna put in about a cup of peanut butter in with our marshmallows and our butter. Then after we get these spread out in our pan, we have a 13 by nine here, we're gonna melt some dark chocolate chips. We're gonna spread these over the top and then we're gonna put some chopped peanuts on top. So that sounds super delicious. He was super excited about that. So we're gonna grab three tablespoons of butter and this is gonna go into our Dutch oven with our bag of mini marshmallows. I don't think I got that cut very straight, so I'm gonna add just a little bit extra to make sure we have the full three tablespoons. We've got our marshmallows. We don't need our lid, so let's get that out of the way. All right. Let's get over and make these. All right, so we have our burner on a medium low heat. We're gonna grab our wooden spoon. We're gonna get our butter starting to melt. And then we're gonna mix in our marshmallows. And we're gonna put in that cup of peanut butter and we're gonna get all of that melted together. And then we will add our six cups of Rice Krispies. I love the smell of marshmallows when you first open the bag. Let's go ahead and put our peanut butter in so that can start melting with our butter. And if you haven't seen these measuring cups, these are amazing. I love these. Makes it so easy to get peanut butter and honey and carol syrup and all of those sticky, sticky things out. So easy. Put the rest of that off of there. I'm just going to use my spoon for it and my spatula for just a second so I can get all this peanut butter off of my spatula and into the butter mixture. Try to get as much of that off of there as we can. Right, let's go ahead and put in our bag of mini marshmallows. Make sure we have them all in there. And we're just going to keep stirring this till we get our marshmallows and our peanut butter all melted and ready for us to put in our six cups of Rice Krispies. Thank <laughs> you. 
down the sides. Make sure we get all of this peanut butter. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and turn off our heat. I think we have enough residual heat in our pot here just to get the last couple little marshmallows. And we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our Rice Krispies. Just use our spatula, we're gonna get our peanut butter and our marshmallows all mixed in. Then we're gonna spread this out into our 13 by 9 baking dish. I like using this rubber spatula because it's helping me to get down in here and get all of this rice crispy mixed in. You don't want to miss any of it. All right, we need to butter our pan just a little bit. So we're just going to use our softened stick of butter. We're just going to go up around the edges, make sure we get in the corners. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring our pan over. Give ourselves a little bit of rain. I'm not even going to attempt to try to lift this. We're just gonna use our spatula to get all of this in here. Take our, take our hand, you need to get these packed. You want to get them packed in pretty tight so that when you cut these, you end up with nice, um, tight Rice Krispie treats. Just like that. I think having that peanut butter in there really helped us get these nice and loose so we had a good creamy mixture. So we're gonna let this hang out for just a couple minutes and we are going to melt some dark chocolate to put over the top. Three treats right here, we're gonna go ahead and put in, I'm gonna do about half of this bag of chocolate chips. I'm gonna save part of these because I'm making some um, homemade granola bars later this week and um, for his lunch, but we're gonna melt these, do 30 second intervals, just so that we don't end up scorching our chocolate. All right, so we did two 30 second intervals and another 10 seconds after that. And I think we're close. We're just gonna keep stirring this around so that we get all of our chocolate chips melted into our, I think there's enough residual heat from our bowl that we can finish getting these melted. And then we wanna chop our peanuts and get them on right away because they're not gonna stick if we don't put them on while our chocolate is still uh, wet. So you can see that these, we almost got these all melted in here. A couple little chunks in here, nothing too major. I think these are gonna be amazing. All right, so there's our dark chocolate. Let's put this on here. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so I think we're gonna go right down the center with it so we can spread it left to right once we get it in the middle. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get these frosted. Gonna 
be super, super hard. But I think these are gonna be amazing. Chopper so we can chop some peanuts. You guys have all seen me use this tool before. I love it. Let's just get some. We're just gonna do a few at a time because I don't wanna get too many in my chopper at once. Like I said, we're not going for a really heavy layer of peanuts. We're just going for a nice little sprinkle. I actually think we have plenty now. These are going to be so good. Hey friends, there is our peanut butter, dark chocolate, Rice Krispie treats. Don't those look tasty? All right, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen as we made a really quick, fun little twist on a classic snack or a classic treat. I hope you guys will join me again in the kitchen. We've got a lot of fun things coming up soon. It means so much to me that you guys would take time out of your day to spend time with me. Come see what I'm doing in my kitchen. It's so fun when we get to hang out together. Hope you guys will come back again. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. Hit that notification bell up there so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And most of all, give this video a thumbs up. Those likes really help me out a lot. And I hope you guys will come back and see what's happening in the kitchen again soon. And have a good day, friends, and God bless.